Alright, so we got next reaction is MMA when talking trash goes wrong. And we had episode one and episode two and it's by C one zero four two four five three. Okay, that's a lot of stuff and not numbers. But um we are going to take a look at one of the MMAs that Tech Talking Trash goes wrong. Now, I know for the fact that I know LSC doesn't do like a press conference for, you know, I, I, mean, I, I mean, I don't know if they're ever going to do it or so, or I don't know. <laughs> but uh, if they were, I would gladly to watch it. But they actually did a weigh-in. Just, you know, it could look like off the UFC, just, you know, just in case. But, um, just the case, just a fair warning. Never, ever, ever, ever talk trash about, like, <laughs> what I meant to say, let nobody else talk in trash about your life or your family or your relationship or personal, you know, that's been going on, because, um, if that would have ever happened to me, I, like, no, it, like, it, I don't take it too much, like, more as a trash talk person, but if someone trash talking me, I would brutalize them, if they, if they don't, like, you know, you know, my family, my friends and all that because um I would have brutally beat them up I mean would I would I do that at uh, Octagon because um it's not about business it's one it, it's about a very personal that when someone take too much seriously about about it I like no nah, I'm not gonna let you talk trash about my family because, like, you think I'm bettering you or something like that. Like, come on, it's not about who was better, it's about respect. And that's the only reason how the MMA, when it did that in the first place, it's all about respect and sportmans sportsmanship in the first place. But, you know, you don't just sit around and talk trash about me. Oh, uh, you know who you are, who, what you want, or, you know what you want, who you are about it. So yeah, but let's check it out in five, four, three, two. In my mind, I'm a future world champion, and this is one of many main events for me. And after this, I, I got a a couple people in mind. I'm gonna I'm gonna wait until after August 25th. And then I'm, I'm going to get on the mic and I'm going to talk some shit and call some people yeah, out. Thank you, man. This is your last main event. You're about to be uh, on a three-fight losing streak and, and, and shipping your ass back to the B-League to fight tomato cans again. I got more money than you right now, bro. I, I fought four times in the last year, and I won my fights. You, you lost two out of three. You fucking suck. Pat man. is your record against yeah. B-level competition. Congratulations. Don't break your hand patting yourself on the ass, bro. Uh, I'm not the Homer Simpson of, of MMA like you are, bro. I'm not going to take a beating, but you will knock the <laughs> fuck out. You take, you take 10 significant strikes per minute. That's 50 shots a round that you're, you, ain't lasting, you ain't lasting three rounds of me taking all that beating like that. You're 29 years old, and you're punch drunk and, and, and slurring when you talk, bro. So um, you're, you're getting knocked out. No, I'm not going to stand like a retard and, 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 fi and fight the so You're going to run like a bitch. But you are going to get slept. You're going to get knocked out within three yeah. rounds for sure. <laughs> He's out cold. James, unfortunately, still doesn't even know what's going on. He just tried to take just That's not anything against James Vick. He is still out of it. My next, I'm going to walk in here Friday night and hit on a clinic. But I'm just too good. I'm just too good. He's not my level. I'm, a, I'm, the, I'm that step above. I'm that next killer up. And I climb me back up. And now I'm here, and they're saying, fuck all. They're not opening their mouth at all. And I'm here. I'm here. I'm back, and they're all fucked. Saturday night. And also shout out to Conor McGregor, cause um, I think what I heard about what's been going on over at MTV uh Video Music Awards, I think uh Conor McGregor, you know, 
attacks uh, Machine Gun Kelly, which I don't understand what is happening or what is going on. Like, is Machine Gun Kelly doesn't know about Conor McGregor? Gregor or some I don't know. Comment down below, cause I've been missing out. I mean, I never care about the whole Anthony War show, so yeah. I'm here. I'm back, and they're all fucked. Saturday night or Friday night when I walk back in there, I'm gonna let it all go. Every shot, his head's gonna move. Every takedown, he's gonna hit the floor. Every transition, I'm gonna be a step ahead. Every position, when he hold, he's stuck. Any submission I go, he's dead. I visualized the fight um, and Mackenzie diving for sloppy takedowns and me pick, picking her apart on the feet. Um, and in the second round, I believe it's just going to be too much for her and she's going to start to doubt herself. She's going to say, crap, I can't get this girl down. What do I do from here? And uh, the second that... round is when I'm going to beat her with a TKO. So just, so yeah, very, yeah. very easy to train. You know, all her fights are the same. All her strikes are the same. All her takedowns are the same. Um, it's, it's pretty easy to train. I brought in some uh, high-level wrestlers, high-level jiu-jitsu girls. Um, and I own the ground. Damn. I own the MMA ground. I beat him on the feet. I beat him on the ground. I just got to be relaxed. I got to be patient. I got to let him expose himself. I got this fight. If I just, I just got to be straight. Be smart. I'm own. I'm gonna own him from start to finish. That's all he knows. Wrestling. Understand where he's at and his explosiveness. He's gonna explode once. He's gonna explode twice. You know, the third one's not gonna be so much. By the time we get past that. Those explosions are nothing. I'm gonna outclass him and putting them away. Whitaker wasn't able to do it. They had a close fight. No one has been able to, to really hurt this guy. I'm gonna break him. He overexposes himself, and I'm a, I'm a counter striker. If you believe in something, if you know something is gonna happen, if you're confident in that situation, you will achieve things in life. That's how you Damn. overcome things. That's how you put yourself out there. You believe it, and you achieve it. You believe or you not believe? <laughs> you believe? <laughs> Do you not believe? What do you believe, huh? What do you gotta believe? <laughs> man, it's everything. <laughs> what do you gotta believe, huh? <laughs> oh, man. Alright, we're in episode two. Let's get going. Man, it's everything it's supposed to be. You know, um, first. Grateful to Cowboy for taking the fight, maybe against his better judgment. Oh! Ooh. I just see myself facing an insecure little lad swinging on a saddle with a pop gun and a feather in his hat. I'll be sending your geriatric ass fucking yeehawing back to the stables on Saturday. I do look <laughs> fucking healthy. I look great. You look like you've served the last two terms in the fucking Oval Office. You look worn out. You look aged and withered. I focus on one thing and one thing only. I know I'm going to be a champion. He's number two. He's always been number two. I'm going to be number one. There's a difference between watching a man on the screen and watching him stand across from you. And, and there will be none of that respect upheld. I won't respect his space. I won't respect the air he's breathing. And I'm going to press and break him in the octagon. It's a completely different world now. Everything's changed. Hernandez near the end. That's it. Donald Cowboy I'm on the road to the throne. Oh, what you going to do better than me? Everything. You going to wrestle me? Everything. If we get in the octagon and I can throw no punches, no knees, Everything. no takedowns, no submission, Everything. I would kick your ass and just wrestle flat out. Beat your ass in real life. Beat your ass on TV. Stop. Nigga, I'll beat your ass with some beef shit. Beat your ass on GP. Pull up on that sneak tip. Niggas run when they see me. Now your eyes fucking popping out when you seeing shit in 3D. When it come down to striking, I would knock you out flat out. To the white meat, Damn. knock out all your white teeth. Warm fruit punch on your shirt, but yeah. niggas thinking that I'm sweet. Uh, Balls really. loaded with concrete, yeah. fingertips with night quill. Quick to put a nigga right to sleep if he looking like he might squeal. Hands on deck, HOD. HOD. When I'm in this octagon, I'm GOD. GOD. Get that ass beat live on TV. On TV. Yeah, when it comes down to grappling, I will break your arm flat out. Bring There's that, nothing you can bring beat that energy. me in. I'm March faster 2nd, bring than that you. Energy. I'm stronger than you. Get and I same. promise you, if you Get come at less than 100%, March 2nd, bring that energy. you would think about you reconsider <laughs> fighting every bring that day energy. of your life. I'll bring that same energy. Oh, so you're saying about breaking arms and stuff? The judges score the contest. 50-44. 
50-44 and 50-45 with a winner by unanimous decision and new! How you gonna beat me? That's ass, that's, that's what you asking? Like seriously? You just talk all that trash? Say you gonna beat me up, breaking on and stuff like Seriously, come on now. <laughs> Karma's a bitch, man. Karma is a bitch. How you gonna beat me? Domination. His head bouncing off the canvas. All his pony talk is gonna be fucking oh, that's on Karma, last Karma. October 6th. Came back for the love of this. To come and shoot this man up. A little rat. A little weasel. He's a glass jaw. The Chechens, the che my Chechen friends, the Vainaki soldiers, they told me that they have chicken jaws in Dagestan. And I believe them because I know a glass jaw when I see one. And I've seen this man wobble many times. I've seen his brother sparked unconscious in another promotion. I know he is afraid of a smack. And if you're afraid of a smack off me, a smack will feel like a double barrel shotgun. You hold on to legs for dear life. That's how you fight. You talk chicken this, chicken that, you shit your, you shit your jokes when shit came on top. But you actually fight like a little shitty jokes rat. Anyway, you die for the legs and hold on to them for dear life. What kind of, what kind of fighting is that? What kind of man, what kind of, what kind of way of, of, of fighting is that? But this man is a glass jaw bum, and I'm going to shatter him. Got a little fake belt over there. You'll be a guy, a, a number 11 ranked, a, a real estate agent. And you, you, you bring that belt up on, on, on stage like, like it's a real belt. You're a phony, a fake, and I'm gonna expose you. Now you're up on the real shit, kid. You're with the real dogs now, bro brother, yeah? And you're gonna be smoked October 6th. Thanks, God. I don't give a fuck what he's gonna try and do. He's, go he's gonna be swinging wildly like he is, sloppy, shooting for the legs. He's an amateur. He's a 20, would you believe he's 26 and 0? I've never met a tw an, unbeaten, an unbeaten amateur uh, in, in the professional game. I mean, he's fucking for nobody, absolutely nobody. Anyone that he's half for has been decisions. He's in over his head. I'm gonna pick him apart and bully him in there. Oh! You were saying? <laughs> you were saying? <laughs> in the books we head to the championship nah man nah it ain't about business it's about personal like like i say this once i say it again it's not about business it's personal like i'm not gonna let you go to sit here and you know talking trash about my family my animals my friends and all that like come on you think for one second that you thought that i was better than you it's like, like I said, it's not about who's one who's better, who, who's trying to be the best fighter of all time. It's about respect among each other at, at MMA. Like, it's not about, you know, who was better than you, like, better than you. Like, come on, get your shit, like, get your, get your shit together. Like, I not let you go sit here and just, like, you know, just talking trash to my mom or my dad, my sister or my brother or anything like that, man. Because um, if that would happen, it would take it too much personal for me to just brutalize you. Like, I would have, like, beat the blood out of you. Like, right in front of your, in front of your own family, your family, because... Because you're more like a like a toxic person. Like every time it does that in the games, well, you know, when when you uh, when someone's talking trash at at online, then you got you got karma because you can't admit that you lose. You can't admit to anything that that what's been going on with you, like. I mean, I don't know what's been going on with you or what, because 
I never did it. I never did anything wrong to like disrespect you. I never dis. I never try to disrespect you. I just trying to fight. Like it just happened to me from MMA or pro wrestling. I mean, it, I would take it too personal because I mean, I don't know, man. That's that's the only reason why it always happened in the first place. So yeah. <laughs> Say, let's, uh, no, let's talk. No, let's talk. 15 minutes in the box. No. We head to the championship no, rounds. No, let's go. Let's talk. Good to be disabled. McGregor forced to just cover up. He said here, this is what's terrifying. Look at this right hand. Boom. Damn. Hits him on the yeah. chin. By Good entry by Nermago, man. Advantage. And He's got it. It's under the net. There it is. There's the tap. Choke. If you look at it, he's not even under the chin. And Connor forced the tap. And Khabib's still furious. Khabib's okay. getting up. Try to break his neck. That's why. Oh. No, no, no. Oh, yeah. I forgot Whoa. about it. No. And he's going right at Dylan Dan. Damn. After the fight. Oh! He's not. Yo, I forgot about that part. Cause that shit was crazy. I'm like, what the hell? Like, what the hell just happened? But I believe that I think he's going after what I I I I, I still forgot about it. But comment down below if y'all knows about it. But yeah, man, that shit was crazy. Cause um. Like I said, it's not about business, it's personal. I mean, I don't, I'm not good at all this business stuff, but I, I take it too personal. I mean, you don't want to mess with me, because, um, or someone, because, um, if they were to take it too much personal, oh, like, from MMA fighters or pro wrestlers, if they were to take it too much personal, because I know for a fact that they would be like, It'll be like the whole shoot. I mean, if that would happen, lots of times. So, yeah. But yeah, man. Uh, comment down below what you think about it, and I might do more MMA if I could. So yeah.